we are told about democracy. And we all beat up. Government of the people, by the people, for the people. Which people? <laughs> and what does democracy deliver? Here. One location. I got about a dozen or so of boys and girls who have made attempt to go across the Sahara and across the Mediterranean when they told the story and I listened to them I wept when you see and hear that type of thing and then when what do you do yes I love democracy having suffered from the hand of a butcher, I will not want a military rule Yes, but if it has to come, what can I do? I just say, okay. But the point is this. Do we have conditions? that encourages uh, the conditions that encourage the type of things that are happening. Because if we don't have the conditions that encourage them, they may not happen. That is not mean that doesn't mean that it should be encouraged. What it means is that we should make sure that we do everything to prevent coups from happening. We do everything. When you see things that happen in many countries, and I will not exclude Nigeria, then you wonder. And don't forget, don't forget, particularly the youth, they support most of these schools. The one in Gabon, the coup leader was being carried on the head and by the youth, not by old uh, wretched uh, men and women like me by the youth so the youth are looking for liberators they are looking for liberators and we must bear that in mind why do we have to allow the youth to start looking for liberators beyond the government of the day why? I always give this. When I left secondary school, yes. when I left secondary school, I got five jobs. Five. How many of you will leave university today that will get five jobs? get to even one
All right, guys. So right from the moment of St. John made this speech, uh, there have been a lot of apprehension. There have been a lot of uh, confusion in Asso Rock. And uh, there are a lot of people have reacted to it. Most people said that um, Abbas and Joe is, um, he knows what is going to happen. That if you watch out and see that what Abbas and Joe say may come true. You know, that Nigerians are already, they are fed up. They are fed up with the government. Look at how Tenebo just impoverished Nigerian. He removed subsidy without recourse to dialogue. You know, he just removed subsidy. And this is democracy. That that is supposed to be, those kind of uh, tendencies are supposed to be in um, in a military government. But we see Tenebo exhibiting this. So Nigerians are fed up that the next option is a military coup. If you heard him clearly, he even mentioned that um, Africans, in all these African countries, they all welcome the military coups. All of them, he mentioned Gabon to be precise. That he saw the youth welcoming and, you know, um, appreciating, you know, the military leader that overthrew Ali Bongo. They were praising him. They were, I mean, appreciating him for doing that. Because none, according to him, listen, he said at a point in time that Nigerians will be pushed to the wall and they have no option than to, than to react to anything. You know, when you push a man to the wall, what do you expect? That person will react and the nigerians are looking for a liberator so that is what happens so any option that comes they will take and the military several times have come out to announce that they are not going to overthrow democracy although their insinuation within the military there is a, a pressure within the military the military came up and announced it that pressure is mounting on them to overthrow Tenebo's government that they were not going to do it. And a lot of people look at that statement that there is no sincerity in that statement. If military want to overthrow you, they will not announce it. They will not announce it. You know, because it's a top secret. They won't announce it. If the secret get leaked, they are done. It's game over for them because they will be killed. So they don't usually announce it. So right away, the people have also attacked the passenger. The passenger is causing trouble. We don't the polity and all of that. But what Abbas Sanjay is trying to do is uh, keen into people's sentiments. He's keen into people's uh, popular demand now that government of Bola is not um, is not popular at all within Nigeria because everybody is complaining at uh, this Jagaban period. You know, when Buhari came, people were saying this Buhari period, when things were difficult. Now, this is Jagaban period or this Tenebu's period. It's even worse than than Buhari's tenure. And you can remember, Buhari have said that Nigerians were going to miss him. Now, we didn't understand the statement that Buhari made that we were going to miss him. It is now that is downing on Nigerian that Buhari tried at least. He did not remove subsidy for the whole of his eight years. Even though things were tough, he did not remove it because he knew if he does it, Nigerians will perish. If you see the rate of suicide now that is happening within the country because of the, the hardship in the country, people can no longer survive again. A lot of companies are closing down. I mean, but they say that Tenebo was, was a master strategist. He is the Jagaban himself, that he is a strategic person. What is strategic about what he did in removing the subsidy that have caused Nigeria untold hardship? So people are looking at that. Watch out for what the passenger is saying. That although he says he doesn't favor coup, military government is not the best. But he said anything, anything that comes, what will he do? He will take. He cannot stop it. So but what do you guys think? Please uh, kindly drop your comment below. Let me know what you think. Uh, this is Emma Com TV. God bless you.